right, so this is question 28. And the question reads, the sentence in lines 40 to 42, but must define serves mainly to, so this is a serves mainly to type question. And we have uh, the sentence in lines 40 to 42. So what you should do to solve this is go back to lines 40 to 42 and look about how they function within the text, right? So how they function um, in terms of content and then also sort of just in terms of structure, style, whatever. So let's look at this. So 40, 42 we have, but why exactly humans might have such fibers which respond only to a narrow range of rather subtle stimuli was initially misdemeaned. Okay, so we got this, but whatever. So this sentence of this paragraph up here just basically says, yeah, there's this existence of two types of fibers. The slower one, we're going to call CT fibers, C tactile, low threshold, and then this range. So again, but why exactly humans have these fibers, which only respond to this narrow range of other subtle stimuli, was initially misdemeaned. So in our own words, which is something we should try to do is try to identify what's going on. It's almost like they're asking the question that's going to set up or sort of cue up what's going to happen later, what they're going to talk about later. So this is basically a lawson and his colleagues saying, like, we don't understand, like, we know that these things exist, but we don't understand why humans would have these fibers if they're going to only respond to a very narrow range of subtle stimuli, like very gentle pressure. So that's what we should expect, something about a question, something we don't know. A says, identify factors that a Lawson had previously failed to consider. This is almost like they're already trying to solve the problem. And now a Lawson is like, aha, like I figured out we forgot to consider these factors, these factors. But that's not really what we have. It's more of a, a question starting from the beginning. So A is not a really good answer for it. B says, propose a solution to a dilemma encountered by a Lawson. That doesn't make sense because this is not the solution proposed. This is the question being proposed. So we could also get rid of B. She says, anticipate a potential criticism of a Lawson by the reader. Really, there's nothing here, right? There's no potential criticism about, you know, you failed to consider this, or you're not asking this, you're making an assumption here. So that's not really a good answer choice. Which is going to leave us with D, which says, show a problem from the perspective of a Lawson's team. So show a problem. That's the closest that we have towards answering a question. Why exactly humans have absolute fibers? So for that reason, D is going to be our correct answer choice for question three. Thank you.